we are also presenting at ASCO this year is the pool data of Combi V and Combi D. These are phase three trials of Dabrafnib uh, plus trametinib versus BRAF inhibitor alone. In Combi D it was Dabrafnib alone, in Combi V it was Vemurafenib alone. But this is a pooled analysis of just the Dabrafnib and trametinib, over 500 patients, and it's the five year overall survival. But what we're seeing is very high five year overall survival rate. Um, but interestingly, in certain populations, we're pushing that survival rate to above 50% at five years. Um, so for example, and also the progression-free survival rate um, is very high. For example, patients who have a complete response, the majority of those patients do not progress, or I should say only half progress by um, five years. So we're seeing a progression-free survival rate of just under 50% for patients who have a complete response. When we look at patients with a normal baseline LDH, low level of metastases, so only a less than three sites of metastases, um, they do very well as well with uh, progression-free survival landmarks uh, in the well above the 30 and 40 percent mark. So these are good patients, do very well long term. So um, with that exciting data, we do think that targeted therapy does cure or induce good long-term control in a proportion of patients. If we look in the total population, it's just under 20 percent of patients are progression-free at five years. So these are good results for targeted therapy.